Good morning, brothers and sisters. Yet those who wait for the Lord will gain new strength. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not become weary. Isaiah 40, verse 31. Relying on God's power gives us confidence to live as Christians. What should be our response to God's power? First, we should worship him. Our response should follow what God told Israel. The Lord who brought you up from the land of Egypt with great power and with an outstretched arm, him you shall fear, and to him you shall bow yourself down, and to him you shall sacrifice. 2 Kings 17.36 Understanding God's power should also give us confidence. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 Because of his strength, we can live the Christian life each day with confidence. God is able to do exceeding abundantly beyond all that we ask or think, according to the power that works within us. Ephesians 3.20 Our eternal hope rests on the power of God. His power saved us and will raise us up on the last day. That day should be the great hope of the Christian, because whatever troubles we have on earth, our heavenly destiny is still secure. When I'm tempted to worry, I'm comforted to remember that God's power is greater than any problem I have. The psalmist says, I will lift my eyes to the mountains. From whence shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The God who made everything can certainly handle our troubles. God's power also gives us spiritual victory. Paul instructs us to be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might, Ephesians 6.10. When the adversary comes and you're on guard, you don't fight him. You go tell the commander and he leads the battle. God will bring about the victory because greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world, 1 John 4.4. Satan may be powerful, but he's no match for God. Finally, understanding God's power gives us humility. Paul exhorts us, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you at the proper time. Apart from God's gracious power, we are nothing and can do nothing. Maranatha.